Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Bruces and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to build the gyrocopter in Stranded Deep that just got released on PS4 and Xbox One. <coughs> so first of all let's get the requirements. You don't need to fight any bosses or anything like that uh, like the previous versions on the PC. There's just a couple of requirements that you have to have to build the gyrocopter. So first one is a hammer. You will need a hammer. And if I go to the craft menu to oh it is at at the vehicles. Go to the far left. Here's what you need to build the gyrocopter. So it's two gyrocopter parts as you guys can see. It actually says vehicle gyro part. Uh, and in total you will need three of them so let's just quickly get three of the gyro vehicle parts and I'm pretty sure the rest is one of each and two batteries so you will need one filter part one engine part one fuel part and the electric parts is two is what you will require to build the gyrocopter in the game so first of all you need to get a flat surface just to make it easier for yourself to place it now you can hold R1 and you should see all the parts right there or you can just press R1 and go into this inventory to build it the way you want to okay but I'm gonna hold in R1 it's the uh, the quick craft menu so here's the frame in previous updates you had to fight the boss just to be able to build the gyrocopter so first let's place down the frame as you can see that's one part of the puzzle complete now I need a seat to sit in that's the second part third part is the motor this goes here at the back just like that and now it's the cockpit you just want to place that in this is your gauges and things like that in the cockpit view of the aircraft or gyrocopter and final the last part is the uh, air rotors so this just goes inside there and now you can pick it's very lightweight you can just pick it up to and move it around and now I'll just show you guys how you can fly with it and I'll also fly to island just to show you guys the speed that it has to like fly from one island to another island it does use a lot of fuel so I'll, I'll show you the fuel efficiency as well that it is full of fuel now just drop this jerry can and I'm gonna fly it's very easy to fly guys um, so you just come to it hold square now <coughs> R2 is to go up L2 is to go down and then it's the same as the boat left hand lock stick forward and back and to turn it is left and lock stick left and right so let's quickly go to the island I can show you the fuel efficiency and also the speed or the time it takes to go to the four closest islands to your island and you guys should be really should be careful because if you crash this gyrocopter there's a good possibility of dying I can promise you that but let's go you can constantly check the fuel etc but it's good to know that it takes a quarter tank fuel to the closest element and a quarter tank back so it's half a tank to do one trip now just to give it time to render in the island okay, so we're coming up on the island now and that was a lot faster than with a rowboat and maybe even faster with faster than the motorboat so now you guys can just explore islands a lot better you can't fight let's say bosses out of this thing because there's no place to land when you go to the bosses 
but it's good to know that you can explore a lot more with the gyrocopter. So I'm going to fly home and as soon as I'm home yeah I'm going to show you guys something else you need to keep in mind when having a lot of things on the island or in, at your home base and going back. As you guys can see there the, uh, well, the gyrocopter is very good too. But as you can see there is my house. Everything is there you can see the house while it's standing up. But it's just one weird thing that when you fly around with the gyrocopter or go to another island and come back and you have to some amount of things on your island the, the following will happen uh, but don't be afraid because you will see that there's no problem uh, everything will go back to the way it was so just flying back here I'm going to show you guys and I'll just go ahead and Okay, so you guys can see the house is still there, it's standing, I guess you can call it, it's still there, and it disappears, now it's going to do something very weird. Okay, so as you guys can see, things are rendering back in, and now it's going to start to explode. Okay, so just give it a bit of time and everything just explodes. Look at the cases and everything floating away. That's very weird. Look at this gyrocopter, it fell over. Um, but you don't need to worry about that. You're not gonna have to go around and gather all those items again. You just give it a bit of time to render in everything that is there. So let me just land the gyrocopter like this. Get out. So it's not even a full tank or half tank to get to the closest island and back. But as you guys can see, everything is back to normal. This gyrocopter did jump to this part at some point, but it's back. So you guys don't need to worry about any of those things happening. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to get rich in fuel, I guess you can call it. Uh, if you can just ask me in the comment section and I'll make a video on that because there is actually a way of getting a lot of fuel and fueling up your vehicles you can call it because you do have two vehicles you have the gyrocopter and also the motorboat and I'll also make a tutorial on how to build the motorboat it's very easy and what this thing is capable of doing to one island and back and yeah so that is it for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed it and if you did make sure to leave a like comment share and subscribe i'm trying to grow my youtube channel as much as possible uh, and i'll be doing it on stranded deep because it's new game on consoles and a lot of you guys want tips and tricks on the game so yeah thank you guys for watching i hope to see you guys in the next video and remember to ask me anything in the comment section i will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.